What's up everybody? This is Parker from the Fast Foodies and you are watching another Fast Foodies review. Now before we get started with today's review, if you're new to this channel, I would truly appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button. It helps out this channel and I love sharing my passion for fast food with all of you guys out there. So the more people that subscribe, the more people I get to share my fast foodie passion with. <laughs> but today, <laughs> sorry, that was one of the most cringeworthy intros that I have ever done on here. But you know, it is what it is. But today I'm gonna be trying out something from Panera. And I gotta be honest with you guys. After my last experience with Panera, when I tried out the, uh, what was it? The, uh, oh, their chicken sandwich, which was honestly one of the biggest disappointments of this year. I was pretty hesitant to going back there, but I decided to give Panera a second chance and that's why today I'm going to be trying out the new Mexican street corn chowder. Oh, and if you guys missed out on the Panera chicken sandwich review, I'll leave a link up in one of these corners. Definitely make sure to check that out before you decide to spend $13 on a chicken sandwich. But uh, back to this Mexican street corn chowder. I gotta say, I am pretty impressed. I mean, just by looking at it, lots of corn in here, the veggies as well. You got some roasted red peppers, it looks like. And ooh, that smell full of spices. It smells full of flavor. But does it taste full of flavor? There's only one way to find out. Let's taste it on the spoon look. I mean, you guys can see this thing is loaded. Mmm. Mmm. Quite a bit creamier than I was expecting. I think that they added some cream in here. And it's coming through strong. And I'm happy that they added the amount of cream that they did because I think if they didn't add that much cream, I think it'd be a little too spicy, a little too much for my stomach, if you know what I mean. Um, but moving on to all those, uh, I guess, mix-ins, to all those veggies in here. Mm. They all taste fresh, full of vibrant colors and flavors. I am enjoying that. And then you mix in those spices, those Mexican spices that they add in here. This is honestly a pretty darn good chowder. The one thing I'm finding that this chowder is missing that I wish it had was some type of uh, meat component, I guess. Maybe some bacon crumbles. Ooh, bacon crumbles in here would have been exquisite. But not even bacon crumbles, maybe like pieces of ham, sausage, some maybe Italian sausage, as long as it's not too spicy. But I think any of those options would have helped complement the already existing flavors you got going on in here. But as is, I think I'm gonna give this Mexican street corn chowder from Panera. Mm. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. This is honestly one of the best chowders, one of the best soups I have had in quite some time. Honestly, this may be the best fast food chowder that I have ever had. Now, does it compare to any of my mom's homemade soups or chowders? No. Not even close, but as I was saying, for fast food, for Panera, not bad. Not bad. If you made it to the end of this video, then I'm sure that you want to become a fast foodie as well. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And to see exclusive behind the scenes footage, then you can head on over to Instagram and follow the fast foodies at Fast Foodies Review.